Hey! Hi everyone, how you doing? Happy Sunday! It's Mr Higgins here on a Sunday. How's things? Hope you're enjoying yourselves, hope you're enjoying your weekends. Strange times, isn't it? But as long as you're sticking together, that's the most important thing. It's coming towards the end of how quick do weekends go? How quick do weekends go? But it's still the weekend and it's Sunday. I hope you're tuning in. I hope people are, are enjoying the videos. It's um, me again. And I was just, I don't know what I was going to say then. I was, going to sort of, I was thinking about saying, well, I hope you're not watching the football and you're watching me. So yes, it's FA Cup weekend, third round weekend, a weekend I love the football, but instead of watching Marine versus Tottenham, I hope you're watching me. And talking about that, Freddie, if you're watching, come on, Marine, come on, Marine. Uh, Freddie's a student of mine, a massive Spurs fan, a massive Spurs fan. We always have a bit of banter about the football, and he absolutely loves his Spurs, so I know he'll be tuning in watching Tottenham, definitely ahead of watching his PE teacher on a Sunday. But um, yes, I'm Mr Higgins and I'm, I work in a special school, teach PE to disabled children and I'm really passionate about providing inclusive opportunities for PE. And I thought, well, you know, what I'll do is in lockdown, I'll do some live videos and hopefully give some inclusive ideas for uh, students that I teach, obviously, students, I hope you're well, nice to see you, and and others, if others decide to watch, that's brilliant, so if any other people want to watch, it might be an opportunity for your grandparents to get involved, so grandparents could be watching on another stream, and they could be sort of challenging their grandchildren and say, look, we've still got it, so grandparents, maybe there, there could be a challenge for you, but most importantly, my students, I hope you're safe, I hope you're well, and, and it's it's all aimed at you and anyone else that wants to join in. So, we are going to go through a few little activities today just to give you some inclusive PE ideas. It might not be as long as my other videos, but that's, that's fine. Also, I will work for a certain pace and work at your own pace. It might be that if you're watching this on catch up, it you might want to pause the video, practice your skills, and then I'll pause and then move forward. It's entirely up to you. All right, guys, so I'm just going to move my video down to there. I feel like Marty would fly and back to the future. What a film that is. So the quick that you need today uh, is a bowl, a bowl to aim in, socks, I love the socks, socks, a balloon, and only use a balloon if you don't mind them popping, all right, so don't let people get in a bit scared, and they can scare people, and make you jump, so only use a balloon if you're happy to, if not, don't bother, just use another pair of socks or something, or some, a toilet bowl maybe, or something like that, and I've got a, a tray, it can be a, a dinner tray, something that you can use just as a slope uh, that you, you, you might need for, uh, for people that need extra help in releasing a ball or something. All right, guys? And yes, so that's the important you need. Also, please find a safe space where you like to work. Don't be working too close to anything that's precious. If you're throwing socks and don't want to break your ornaments and the valuables, that have been in their household for centuries, all right? So just please, please be, um, think of a safe space. And only take part if you want to, if you're feeling good and you're feeling up for the challenge. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna work out, work through some activities. And first we're gonna do, we're gonna start with just a few little stretches, all right? So first of all, I would like you to get a pair of your socks and just place them in hands and just squeeze them with your fingers. All right, so just squeeze them with your fingers. Yeah, got my pink donut socks. Thank you, Brooke, my former student. And just squeeze them with your fingers. All right, yes, and you can pass them from hand to hand or you can just work in one hand and just a nice squeeze. And it's a good sensory warm-up as well. You're feeling the equipment you're using. 
All right? So really squeeze. You might want to pass them from hand to hand. That's absolutely fine, yeah? Just squeeze. You might use two hands. And if you are running or sat at a table, it might be that you just, you just roll them around on the table. Yeah? Absolutely brilliant. So just finding ways to fill the socks. Because we're really using the socks, aren't we? So we want to feel what they're like. Thank you for the balloon. Now the balloon obviously makes a bit of an annoying noise. And so you just want to move the balloon around as well. So it might be you move the balloon around on the tray, or you just move the balloon around in your hands. But again, just be careful, don't squeeze it too hard because you don't want it to hold. Alright? And it's just give you like a roll up your arm. Yeah? Roll up your arm. Get a feel there. So you absolutely get a feel for those breaks. So those, those socks and the balloon. Okay. So what are we going to do then? You might want to use your socks like you would dumbbells. I'm going to just hold them one in each hand and just lift them up like a chest press above your head nice and slowly. All right? Nice and slowly. And only stretch as far as you can go. And it might be that someone needs to help you stretch. That's fine. But that person's helping. Make sure that your child or whoever you're helping is making the initiated movement. You're not moving their arms for them. They are starting the movement and you're just helping them along. And it might be you only reach there. Absolutely fine. You might need to be sat back in your chair. So you use the chair to support you, or you might be able to wiggle your bums forward and then use your core to support you. That's not why I'm wearing my body warmer. I was just having my walk and I thought, I need to get somewhere to film this because I'm filming on my desktop computer because I, I because you need a hug, you need a thousand subscribers to film from the phone. So if anyone's watching this is not subscribed, please subscribe. Get people to subscribe to the channel. So then if I can get a thousand subscribers, then I can build my phone and I can have a bit of flexibility in there, which would be great. And then who oh, you knows what I'm gonna go up to for these videos then if I'm roaming around in my phone. So they are please, that's that's if you want to subscribe, there's no pressure for them. But again, fantastic. All right, now. Well, you can hold the socks. I think it's good to hold the socks actually if you can, and if you can't, it's not good. I also I've got here like a tea towel that I've used before, and again, you could use one of those as a substitute. I think it's good just to, I don't know, just someone focus your hands maybe. But again, if you don't, that's absolutely fine. So the next activity we're going to do, and quick, give it the elbow. So you're just going to elbow back. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Only the range of motion that you can do, the range of movement you can do. Really all the back. Fantastic. Nice and steady. So we just really the stretch. Absolutely brilliant. Well done. Absolutely great. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to now just reach forwards. Okay? So Reach backwards, so what am I going about? Reach forwards, reach backwards. There you go. Mr. Higgins makes mistakes, can you believe it? <laughs> Don't make those mistakes. But that's good, we can, we know one's perfect, are they? So just reaching back. Oh, yeah. Feeling, working at your bone. Well done. Well done, guys. Well done. And again, these can be used anytime we want. And I think it's really important for us to keep physically active at all times, especially in a lockdown situation. And you can find opportunities to use these stretches best you can. All right? Find times in the day to move. That's what we want. All right, guys? Well done. Absolutely brilliant. Right. We're going to do some punches. I right? just push them out in front of you. Punches. 
I'm not sure about my punching technique, to be fair, but I think you're like, you pop, you've got big arms up in front of face, and then just jab forward. Nice and steady. This is an exercise. We're not, we're not teaching you to go out and have a fight, all right? So don't get that idea in your head. It's just an exercise. Don't go starting problems with your brothers and sisters. All right, so just working at your own pace. And again, I'd say we, if you're, you've got a chip, you're working at a table, you might just push your arms through. All right, your arms through. <laughs> Arms free. Yeah. There you go. Oh, it's been close up. Oh, look at him on a Sunday. Oh, I want to see my teacher on a Sunday. So, and then just pushing there at your own pace. Fantastic. Great work, guys. Great work. Now, thinking about punching again, we're going to do some uppercuts. So, I'm just going to do this. Push it up. Push it up. Yeah, just lifting our arms. Right. I naturally got my tiptoes when I do that. I don't know why. Anyone that knows why, let me know. Is it a bad technique? I hope it's not. But listen to your body. Yeah, I've just made my feet flat. Yeah, good. And, and have a rest. You know, just because I'm just doing that there. If it's hurting you, please rest. All right. It might be that you only do one uppercut. Rest. And then two. Rest. And then three, rest. Four, rest. It's entirely up to you, all right? Working at your own pace. All right, fantastic, fantastic. Now what we're gonna do is what I like to call a power 10, where we just go a little bit faster, and again, it's your pace. So we're gonna go power 10, we're gonna go a little bit faster than what you've been doing, all right? But with control, don't, you know, nice and steady, with control. So power 10, go. Nice and controlled, yeah, power 10. That's it, that's 10 seconds. I had to look at that and I'm sort of new anyway, but power 10. And again, control is a key thing here when you're stretching, having, having um, controlled movements. Don't just rush with them <laughs> because it's not going to really do any good. So keeping a nice sort of, it's like a rigid sort of posture with like flexibility. Is that, have I contradicted myself? Or do you know, you, you have control but with flexibility as well, yeah? Fantastic, well done. Um, and now, work on any, any stretches that you would like. So what stretches would you like to do? Could it be that you want to do some more punching? You might want to punch down, reach down, or you might want to do one, two, three, four. Hey, look at that. One, two, three, four. Come on, baby, see you. Love you five, six, seven times. Sorry about that. I do burst into song. I'm really sorry about that. One, two, three, four. Come on, baby, say you love me five, six, seven times. Anything you want, any stretches, but maybe not fall to those those drastic measures that I just done. Anyway, some good stretches there. Bring me back now. Um, so yes, yeah, nice stretches there. Um, we're gonna do this. I've done this the last couple of days, so we're going to do some goal celebrations as again, as another way of moving. And again, it's just something fun really to get us moving, all right? Something fun. So goal celebrations. I will pick out a football player or a sports star, and then you guys will copy my celebration. And the first one is USA female football legend, Megan Rapino. And Megan Rapino has sort of this real sort of thing that's even up here. Sort of like, way, one of those. You ever see my belly there? Way, one of those. So one arm out, one arm up. There we go. Striking, chest out. Giving it the attitude. Yes, giving it a big one. Can you copy? Yay, Megan Rapino, brilliant. Right, two more. This one, hey! David Beckham! One of my greatest players, he's a football jump! Hands in the air like that! Yes! 
in the chair, push down, and arms up. Only as far as you can go again. Think about the warm up. So push down, arms up. It might be one arm. It's not bad. Very similar to the warm up that we were doing there when we were stretching back. Yeah. Beckham. Beckham, what a goal! Fantastic. And next one, Daniel Sturridge. All right, this is a bit of a dance. Woohoo! Daniel Sturridge. So it moves on from one to the other. I'm sorry, Daniel Sturridge, if I'm not doing your celebration any justice. But yeah, arms out. Hey, who's doing this at home? Mum and Dad, are you doing this? Granny, Grandma? Grandma, 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 are you doing this? Oh, I'm tired, man, I'm get the words out. Hey, Daniel Sturridge. Fantastic. Okay, last, last session, last bit of our activity now. And what I'm going to do, I, I saw sort of made a board game last week, and it, it's focused on different exercises. All right, so I'll be more than that to come. And here we go then, let's think about that. So I'm going to pull out a card and then we're going to copy the skill. And the first one is five balloon headers. Five balloon headers. Now, here we go. So again, balloon, balloons are brilliant because they slow things down. Absolutely great. So only if you want to use a balloon, if not use a sock or something. So five balloon headers. Can go with one, catch. Two, three, catch. Four. Look at your own pace. It might be that you just want to go one, catch. Two, catch. Three, catch. Four, five, catch. That's fine. It might be someone passes it to you. You pass it, imagine that someone passing it. And you just head it down. That's all right. One. It's going to pass it to you again. Two. Three. Four. Five. Right, you want to do it consecutively. It's quite difficult, actually. One. Three. Five. Or, again, if headers aren't for you, you can adapt it and maybe just use your hands. Right? So you turn it into sort of like a bit of keeping up, really. But five balloon headers, there you go. Well done, you've done that, everyone. Let's have a look, what have we done here? 30 seconds kicking or pushing a ball at a target. Now, all right, I've already said we've got about four of my equipment list, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a sock or my balloon. And my target is going to be my mixing bowl. So again, we're going to kick, we can play, maybe keep the balloon and then we back a little bit. And we can just try and kick for 30 seconds in there. So ready, 30 seconds. We're going to start in 10 seconds. Ready, steady. And go! So can we try and just kick that balloon at the target? Controlled. Controlled. We can get in the target. Nice and controlled, yeah? So you can maybe use the balloon, or you might want to kick the socks. But obviously, we've got a point there. Right? A soft ball you can use, and it's safe. Use that as well. You might want to kick. It might be that you need to you not kick it, but you're just pushing the balloon. All right, absolutely fine. Push for now. Okay, and I think that's about 30 seconds. All right, so you, push, you might push it on the train. Okay, so let's go. That, that one now. Gonna do two more with the ball, the blue on slippery, and he's gone away. The next one, 30 seconds sock catches. 30 seconds sock catches. So again, another 30 second challenge, and it's involving catching the socks. So it might be that we do 30 seconds of just throwing them up in the air, like this, nice and steady, or you might pass from one hand to the other. Absolutely fine. Yeah? Or we might roll from one hand to the other on the tray. Right? We might roll from one hand to the other on the tray. There you go. 
Right, so 30 seconds, stock catches. Again, if you need to modify that just to suit you, that's absolutely fine. All right, 30 seconds, stock catches. So again, this is something that you can do nice and steady. Right, there's that one. We're going to do one more, and then I'm going to let you go and have your Sunday dinner, if you've not already had it. Sunday lunch, rather than you call it. And this one is... Five balloon keepy ups. So five balloon keepy ups. So it could be one, two, three, four, five. You see how great just snows down and you can judge it. Yeah, that's brilliant. So five, it might be five keepy up things with your feet. Oh, make it a mess. Oh, it's slipping, it's slipping. Slipping on the moon. So it might be one, two, three, four. Yeah, different parts of your body. Yeah, you might go kick it once on the floor, kick it twice, and then it lands. And some might pass you the glue. That's why right. three and, and four, five. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, students, anyone else that's watching. Thank you very much for tuning in on a Sunday. Sunday school, eh? Sunday school. We had Saturday school yesterday, got Sunday school today. I'll leave you to go back with your roast dinners and your Sunday dinners, whatever you're eating. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Uh, my students, massive shout out to you. I miss you lots. I hope you're safe and well. You know I am. Get in touch with me if you want me to uh, give you a shout out or give you some ideas, PE at home, extra PE at home, you know where I am, I'm happy to put that up through the store on my email. And people that, that don't know me and that's watching, thank you for tuning in. Please, please share the work you do on hashtag challenge Mr. H. So that's hashtag challenge Mr. H or on Twitter, which is at, tag me at Mr. H Multisports, Mr. H Multisports. So we're going to leave it there. Happy Sunday. See you tomorrow on Happy Monday. So I'll see you then. Take care. Stay safe. Have a great end of the weekend. Freddie, if you're watching it, go on, Marine. Up the Marine. <laughs> Only joking, mate. And enjoy whatever you've got left planned for your weekend, guys. All right. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. See you later. Bye. See you, see you later. Thank you. Bye.